Hey, what's up guys? Mudar True Good Development. I'm at one of my flips today. This guy saves me so much time and does great coverage. I'm doing a deck today. It's a small deck, 12 by 12, nevertheless has 56 spindles. So can you imagine how much time that would take if I use a roller or a paintbrush? I'll tell you what, it will take a lot more time to do it that way than with the paint mint. You simply dip the tip of this paint mint and you hold and you put it put that stain on the spindle and then you hold it together like that so the spindle is right in the middle in here and then you go up and down up and down a couple of times you can dip it again to do it over again and that will save you a ton of time so I'm going to show you how I do it uh, in a little bit I don't have my um, other camera so hopefully I could work with one hand doing a couple of those spindles just to give you an idea of how to do it but definitely uh, use this thing it is great uh, it saves you a lot of time this thing was I think about six dollars from the local ace hardware I'm sure you can find it somewhere else so hopefully you'll find that helpful before I start I just wanted to show you the label for the paint mitt get a little bit more detail on that and the paint mint itself is, um, I guess, has this mesh lining inside so as to protect your hands from getting uh, the stain on your hands. Of course, you could put on uh, some latex gloves and go in. I've done it both ways, really. Uh, believe it or not, not a lot of stain comes through. And that, that which comes through, I use uh, water-based stain. So you'll just have to wash your hands um, right away, and that should be it. Uh, as for the job itself, I'm using a, uh, just for the remainder of the deck, uh, I'm using a three-quarter inch uh, nap just because it's an aged uh, deck. So you have a lot of grain on it, and you want that stain to go through. I usually use my critter. On, a, on small decks, I use my sprayer, but uh, we don't have electric here. So I can't use my compressor. Anyways, I still use a, I think this is three and a half uh, or four inch, excuse me, three and a half, four inch um, paint brush uh, just for the uh, rails, handrails and stuff like that. And just for the corners where the roller can get to. Of course, uh, my nine inch roller and uh, my deck paint. Here's the deck. No, nothing crazy, 12 by 12. We'll get right to it. Okay guys, I got my paint mint on and I got my stain. And I'm gonna time how long it takes to do one of these spindles, okay? And the idea is we're gonna dip this part in and we're going to transfer the stain on to the spindle and we're gonna hold it like this and we're gonna ride it, all right? Here we go, it's 12, 30. A lot of ladybugs swarming around for some reason. Not sure what's going on. Maybe it's the season. That took 23 seconds on the first one. Now the only drawback about this is that was another uh, less than 25 seconds. So it slides out sometimes, you gotta pull it. I've seen some people use different kind of, you know, maybe a rubber band or something to hold it in place, but I'm all right with it the way it is. Here we go, 12.31. Twenty-six seconds, and this one has a lot of um, dips and 
issues. It's not a smooth. This is really smooth. I bet you this will take me like 10 seconds. Let's see. Yeah, 20 seconds. So, looks like probably average about, um, I don't know, 20 some seconds a spindle. That's a lot faster than uh, paint brushing, in my opinion. So I did four, about two minutes. So I'll do the math on 56 spindles, but it shouldn't be that long. There you go. I'll probably come back through and just with my brush, just touch up those. I'll show you. Right here, the crevices are a little harder to get to. But otherwise, if you have a smooth spindle like that, that looks pretty good. All right, we got plenty more to go. Here's uh, what's left of this guy. So, you know, obviously these are disposable, but well worth it. I think I got the whole thing done in 30 minutes, but I had to go back on the back side of the spindles and do those. <clears throat> and that was relatively quick too, because I guess when you're kind of holding it this way. There's not a lot of pressure on this side of the, of your palm, so it kind of leaves the back a little bit <clears throat> um, more to be desired. But anyways, I hope you like this. Please subscribe so you can see more videos. And also, as I said before, and you've heard me earlier, uh, I'm on one of my flips. That is what I do. I uh, remodel properties and uh, I flip properties. So if you wanna learn how to do that, make sure you check out my real estate playlist. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.